All right, this is problem number 11 out of 7.2. I went ahead and I answered the question, but I'm gonna walk you all through the process and how I did this. Okay, so the directions here say, test the claim about the population mean mu at the given level of confidence using the given sample statistics. Okay, so the first thing it tells me right here, it says, my, oops, it says my claim is that mu is equal to 40. So right here, we're gonna say, mu is equal to 40, and this is our claim. Okay, so remember, we have to now find the opposite of saying something is equal to 40. So then we say, well, you know what? It's not equal to 40. The next part we're gonna figure out is which one of these is the null hypothesis and which one is the alternate hypothesis. If you remember, the null hypothesis always has the equal to part. So that's gonna be my HO. So then my HA is gonna be the one that says it's not equal to. So now from the first part here, it says identify the null and alternate or alternative hypothesis. And if you notice, that's exactly what I did right here, right? So HO is that mu is equal to 40, HA is that it's not equal to 40. Okay, then the second part here says, let's calculate the standardized test statistic. So the way we find the standardized test statistic is we use this formula here. Okay. I'm putting this in parentheses, guys, because I'm going to use my calculator, and I want to make sure that when I do this, I do everything correctly. Okay, so now, let's see, my X bar gave that number to me right here. That number is 39.8 minus my mu, which is 40, divided by my sigma, which in this case is 39. I uh, just went over it. 39.3 or 3.93. I'm sorry. Over the square root of n, which is 60. Okay. So let me do this part on my calculator here, and I'm going to enter this piece in exactly as I see it. So here's my calculator. Let me clear all this. I'm going to go 39. Point, oops. Parentheses 39.8 minus 40 divided by sigma, which was 3.93, divided by the square root of n, which in this case was 60. I'm going to close those parentheses here. I'm going to hit enter. And if you notice, I'm coming up with negative 0.39. So z is a negative 0.39. And that's the number that I got right there. Okay, the next part here says, determine the critical values, select the correct choice below, and fill in the answer box to complete your choice. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my normal curve. So remember, it looks something like this. I know it's not as pretty as I want it to be. Uh, they gave me some information up here. Here we go. The piece that I'm looking for is that my alpha, is 0 0.03. So now that we've done some of this work already, we need to figure out, is this a left tail test, a right tail test, or a two tail test? Remember, the way we do that, we always look at the HA. Since the HA says it's not equal to, this is gonna be a two tail test. And the way I find that tail is I'm gonna take this number here and divide it by two, and that's gonna give me a 0.015. So all that's telling me is that the area underneath here is 0 0.015, and the area underneath this part is 0 0.015. So now what we need to do, we need to find those two critical values. Remember, one of them is going to be negative, and one of them is going to be positive. Okay. So the way we're going to find this is we're going to use our calculator. We're going to go to our inverse norm and we're gonna enter in the number 0 0.015. So let me get my calculator again, here we go. I'm gonna go second bars. I'm gonna do inverse norm of 0 0.015, and I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm coming up with a negative 2.17. So that's telling me that this number here is negative 2.17, and this number here is positive 2.17, that's why we have the critical values are negative and po or positive and negative 2.17, right? Okay, 
Now, the next thing we're going to figure out, remember, these are my rejection regions, and then this one in the middle is my fail to reject region, right? So we want to figure out our test statistic. Where does it fall? Does it fall in the rejection region, or does it fall in the fail to reject region? Well, remember, this test statistic we came up with was a negative 0.39. So if right here in the middle is zero, negative 0.30, oops, negative 0.39 is gonna be right there. What area did we fall in? We fell in the fail to reject region. Okay, so now that I'm there, I need to figure out which one of these outcomes am I gonna choose, okay? So we're falling into the fail to reject region and our claim right up here happened to be my null hypothesis. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use my little cheat sheet, okay? And let me just try to make this a little bit so that it's easier to see. Here we go. Okay, our claim was our null, right? And we fell in the fail to reject region, so we're gonna say there is not enough evidence to reject the claim. So, oops, come back here. Uh, we fail to reject, and at 3% significance, there is not 